Clevedon sale rooms often have good collections of Eltonware, the famous Victorian art pottery made only a couple of miles from our sale room in Clevedon. Here we have a typical example. You can see the mottled slip covering, this time in greens and yellows, and the raised slip decoration, as usual of floral decoration. It was in the late 1870s that Sir Edmund Elton from Clevedon Court decided to turn his attention to making pottery. Starting with a local flower pot maker to make basic shapes, he then went on to build his own kilns, create his own wheel and to throw all the pots himself. Here we have an early piece from 1882. See it's just in a plain colour with very little decoration but again with floral motifs. Sir Edmund Elton had several assistants at the pottery, but one in particular, George Masters, became a lifelong friend and was instrumental in the success of the pottery. George Masters was very competent at throwing pots, and one particular design he, put, he liked was the Somerset Tig, as shown here. Tigs are three-handled loving cups, passed from one person to the other. Here again, in the traditional Elton decoration, with mottled glaze and the raised foliate motifs. It wasn't just local items they grew inspiration from. Here we have a piece modelled on a Mediterranean drinking vessel. At the turn of the century, Sir Edmund turned his ideas to lustreware. Firstly, he wanted a plain lustre, but later, after much experimenting, went on to develop crackled lay. The luster glaze would be applied and then re-fired in the kiln, causing it to crackle and separate as we see in these designs. To achieve the effect, he would use gold, platinum and occasionally silver. Collections of Eltonware can be found in many museums around the world. It's well worth visiting Clevedon Court in Somerset if you have any interest in art pottery and Eltonware. At Clevedon Cell Rooms, we often have collections and individual pieces. You can check our website and sign up for Auction Alert, www.csrauctions.com. Thank you for watching.